My name's Hannah Mills and I'm an athlete for the Great Britain Sail GP team. So I grew up in Cardiff, but I actually learnt sail down in Cornwall on a family holiday and just fell in love. And when we went back to Cardiff, begged my mum and dad to let me carry on and then I properly learnt to sail on this tiny little reservoir called Flanishing Reservoir. I was always very competitive growing up, in any, I loved all sports, any sport. As soon as there was racing mentioned, that was me, I was just sold. I was about 11 years old I think at an Optimist competition and I think Ben had just got back from his first Olympics in Atlanta with a silver medal and, and he came and, and did a little sort of Q&A with the sailors and that was kind of the first time that I realised sailing was, was in the Olympics and that was the moment where I was like, right, that's, that's what I want to do. Pretty much everything I did from that point on was around trying to make that dream a reality. So I love the performance side and, and pushing yourself and being out of your comfort zone and obviously I'm a competitor, I love performing and I love racing and that's, that's always kind of what drives me on that side of things to be the best I possibly can be for the team and for myself. But then also for SailGP, I, I love what they stand for, I love the purpose and the impact side of what they're doing and I strongly believe that sport has a massive role to play in inspiring the next generation particularly to, to being the best they can be but when it comes to our planet and, and what we can do to try and change the course we're currently on so yeah I, I think it has a huge role to play in and I'm excited to be a part of that. So I guess my background in helming the 470 stems played quite a big part behind the scenes without me necessarily realising. For A-levels in at university I did physics and maths and engineering so I've got a bit of a, a bit of a STEM background myself, uh, although I wouldn't say I necessarily excelled in it, but I think just sort of that analytical approach is really, really crucial. The way you assess risk and, and manage that risk and, and you're just constantly weighing up the stats and, and the potential positives and negatives of, of every decision you're making. But then also off the water, you know, with, with the way you're setting up the boat, the sail design, the, the mast selection, the sort of properties of the mast, the properties of the boats, it, it's just all, it's all relative and it, it's all important and it all kind of leads back to STEM. So yeah, it's been a, a big part of my career. It's easy growing up, particularly for girls, to think that, oh, it's not quite for me or I'm not good enough or it's probably someone else better suited. but. Actually, there probably isn't. You know, if you grab that opportunity, learn as much as you can from the people around you, there's no reason you can't do anything just as well as anyone else.